welcome back the steady state method well is not particularly a method for selecting parents but here the idea is that a big part of the chromosomes should survive to the next generation basically we want a subset of the chromosomes and hopefully the good chromosomes to survive for a uh, uh, next generation so the idea uh, works as follows in every generation a few chromosomes are selected these chromosomes are hopefully good with high fitness values we select them for creating a new offspring right we begin with that then some chromosomes some bad chromosomes the ones with lower fitness values are removed we remove them and then we get the new offspring placed in their place so we replace them with the ones we selected from the previous uh, f the previous step with the ones with the high and good fitness values right and then the rest of the population survive to survives to the new generation so just a, a, an idea, a, a way of uh, creating a, a, a new offspring and new generation one thing one more thing that I'd like, I'd like to mention here we mentioned it before is the idea of elitism the concept of elitism we mentioned elitism before and we said that when we create new populations uh, after we of course apply crossover and mutation then we have a big chance that we will lose the best chromosome or chromosomes right elitism is the name of the method where uh, we first copy the best chromosome one or more the best chromosomes to the new population right so we want the good ones to survive and stay for the next steps for the next uh, for the new population the rest is done in the classical way as we mentioned and as we will explain in the next video so elitism can very rapidly increase the performance of the genetic algorithm because it uh, if we use it then we keep the good chromosomes the good candidate solutions so we can use them in new iteration the new iteration right it prevents losing the best found solutions thank you very much for watching in the next video we will be speaking about method uh, of mut mutation for uh, permutation uh, problems thanks again and see you next time